FCA brought a group of guys from Liberty and a couple other surrounding schools in Virginia and even other parts of the country to go over to Azerbaijan and be a part of a wrestling camp that we were able to use as opportunity to make relationships and connections with these guys. It's right below Russia, right above Iran, kind of a smack dab in the middle of wrestling territory. The best wrestlers in the world come out of the U.S. and come out of that Caucasus region. So it's pretty, pretty wrestling heavy region. We're really excited to have opportunity to use wrestling as a foothold to come in and share the gospel. Through, through the camp, um, it was five, six days of two-a-day practices where um, we were able to uh, just work out with the, these guys. Um, um, blood, sweat, tears, all of it laying on the mat. We were able to build a, a close brotherhood with a lot of these guys. We were up every morning about seven. We were getting out onto the, the fields and we were wrestling guys from different countries, spoke different languages. Um, but we were able to use uh, our sport to kind of uh, open up a window uh, for some of these guys. A lot of them have never heard of the gospel and their conceptions that they might have had about Christianity was very limited. So it was really cool um, telling them some of these things and then throughout the week of training with these guys and building a relationships, um, being able to tell them more and more about, um, about our faith and about our Savior. I was in a separate group from the rest of my teammates so we were in, in, a, in a city just Honestly, we had no plan. We had no, nothing really going into it other than a few connections with people in the local church. But very quickly, we started, stuff started picking up. We were talking with people and, and the Lord did a lot of cool things. And then we built a lot of connections with the local wrestling coach at that city, um, who was not a, not a believer. Um, but because of wrestling, we were able to really connect with them and connect him with the church and get to know him, get to know their whole wrestling program there. Um, we were able to, to spend a lot of time with him and ended up you know, praying for his nephew who had some health issues um, and, and it really impacted them, almost brought them to tears that we prayed for him. And they at first were confused why we were praying because they didn't even know Christians prayed. And definitely planting seeds there, the Lord was really doing some cool stuff. Over in that area of the world, it's not very easy to just kind of come in and, and build relationships with people. But when you come in with wrestling to offer, they really kind of meet you where you're at. The one thing that's unique about wrestling is you kind of forge your relationships through fire. Um, it's that really the epitome of iron sharpening iron. Um, when you battle with someone and along somebody, it really expedites the process of building that relationship, uh, unlike anything I've ever seen. So wrestling provided that over a, you know, a 10 day period for us to build really good relationships with the guys on our team from other schools, as well as the guys from other countries that we had never met before. And then by the end of the camp, I felt like, oh, I'd known these guys my whole life, even though it was like just a week had gone by. Uh, and I feel like wrestling gave us that opportunity. It's a tough sport. Um, to be good, you have to put in a lot of man hours, a lot of time. And a lot of these guys, it was their life. They would tell me whenever I asked them if I would tell them, yeah, I'm a student, uh, what about you? And then they would uh, they say, no, I just wrestle. This is my life. But using the sport, we were able to get some, a lot of the respect. Uh, they take it very serious over there. Uh, the first couple days when we were there, they would come up to us and they would ask why we smile so much. They were like, it's a serious sport. Like, why are you guys, you guys smile and you train just as hard as us. And we would tell them we have fun. We enjoy what we do, and uh, you could see the mood change as the camp went on. So it's just cool to see how God's using um, the sport of wrestling to get these unreachable areas so that he can plant some seeds and keep watering them. They definitely want us to go back over there, and they want to come back to the U.S. with us um, big time. So whatever the Lord wills, um, is, is he'll, he'll pave a way for. I think a lot of guys on the team who didn't go could really grow a lot spiritually from going there. And I know personally the Lord grew me so much going there when I was going over to try to help grow others. I can't wait to either get back to see them and, and work out with them and, and see if these seeds have been watered and if they've grown or to have them come here would be awesome. Uh, one of the one of the guys that got closest to us, uh, Stefan from Dagestan at the end of the trip, he ended up posting a picture on his Instagram and uh, the caption of it was the back of one of our Liberty Wrestling shirts where the Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. And that was 
really, really encouraging and cool to see. The opportunity is definitely there because the desire to have us go back is there. We got invited back by the Azerbaijan coaches. They were really excited about the outcome of the camp. They want to grow the camp. Also, there is a desire to have some of those guys come here. Uh, some of the guys on the Dagestan team would say like, oh, it's my dream to travel to America and train with you guys at Liberty School. But the desire to is there and the, the drive to get those guys out here to us, for us to send a second team and go back out there again, uh, maybe, maybe even another country, uh, we'll see. But the Lord's definitely working in this and you can see like where he's setting up avenues to, to reach these people again and to plant more seeds and to water the seeds that have already been planted. So I'm really excited. Uh, hopefully I get to be a part of it, Lord willing. Um, but I know that there's big things coming. And I'm thankful that I got to be a part of it.